Hello and welcome to my road reel behind the scenes. Um, the film I did is a music video. Uh, the music itself is compromised, well, made entirely out of sound effects, both recorded on set and off set. Um, so, what before I started even recording the audio, I had to plan out what I was going to do, and um, so I would plan out the audio and what the actual sound effects for the music will be uh, but of course I had to think of the context of the sounds as well as this is all taking place inside the kitchen I had to confine myself to what would be heard inside a kitchen so a kettle and the oven and some sounds uh, the character could make so, such as like tapping his fingers or drumming on a cup so once I planned that, I um, went to work, I recorded my tests recordings, tried to do some Foley, and I found some of it was beneficial, uh, especially the um, uh, floorboard creaks. I uh, re managed to rep replicate the sounds of a floorboard creaking by pressing down on a pedal of a piano. Um, this piano was rather old, so when you press down on it, it would make a creaking noise. Um, another sound I recorded offset was the fridge slam. Um, I could not record this on set, as when I slammed the fridge, it would make this annoying rattle, which I didn't want my video. I felt it would have been distracting and if I were to cut down the actual audio clip, it would be very obvious if it was like cut, like um, mid rattle. So I replicated the fridge slam by using a um, book and I slamming it on the floor. I thought this made a very good clapping sound, which um, went well with the actual music. Um, other sounds I recorded on set just for convenience, uh, such as um, the cup dropping, uh, that would have been very difficult to replicate offset. Um, to record all the audio, I used a Rode microphone attached to a camera. Uh, I did it this way as um, just so I could see what I was doing and when actually using the sounds when editing. I would have a reference point to compare to. For example, when I was rec um, I was when I was recording the taps, um, I'd be able to reference when the tap noise was made when it made contact with the object. If that makes sense. 